Buongiorno, oui, it is Le Ginger Man. Hello, I am back in a place I've been before, only briefly. If you hadn't noticed this bench, yes, it's Crail. I sat on this bench when I started my solo section of the Fife Coast, but this time I'm not heading further up the Fife Coast, no, I'm heading deep into the beautiful Crail to see what it's got on offer. And already, I've been mesmerised by this place. I've been up in the sky, flying around, checking it out to start with, and I can't wait to get exploring. So, Krell, show me what you got! Peace! Look at this, look at this. It was a lot sunnier and warmer, but an hour ago. Um, but between you and me, it has taken me an hour to get the app working on the, the drone, and all of a sudden the, the sun went behind the clouds and a bit of breeze came in cold, so uh, hats on, jackets on, we're all good, let's go. Now if you want to go that way, that'll take you further on the Fife Coastal Path. Um, Oh, there you are there. Yeah. That is a beautiful wee doggy. <laughs> that is beautiful. It's just flying over this. Ooh la la. Just put it out there, Crail is my type of place. I keep finding treasures on my journey and just gather them in this treasure box that maybe one day I'll bury. There's an idea. Through the camera lens, this could be a hot summer's afternoon. But don't be fooled. And so I'm just lying here, wandering on a rock like the little mermaid taking in the sunshine. It's great. Um, I'm like the little mermaid, don't have legs and Wikipedia. Anyway, so when I come somewhere like Krell, I like to think, what does Krell mean? Because to me, Krell, I don't know what it means. Um, so according to the internet, um, there's two kind of meanings. Um, the name Krell was recorded in 1148 as Cheryl, that's what it looks like, and in 1153 as Karel, which is more of a K. The first element is the Pictish, meaning fort, and the second element may either be Gallic, rocks. So there we go. I mean, let's just go with that. Let's just leave it at that. Fort Rock. Crail is the fort of rocks. Just tell the kids that. I'm happy with that. Fort Rocks. I like that. I'm looking in Crail for some interesting geological findings. I'm at the beach in Crail looking for historical facts and findings. This is a skimmer's paradise here. You can't see them from blinded by the sun. This, this is lovely. This 
where I find crabs. Someone said I'd find crabs here. Crabs and krill. Bye bye beach. These are rickety steps. Would you believe it? That's a fully functioning, absolutely spectacular flying fox in a great location. I've seen this before and I've always just walked past it thinking, what is it? I just seen people coming out the door. Which means, I think we're going to get a surprise. Oosh. It's a ducat. Oh wow. I mean, this is cool. Oh god, I shot myself. We've got sound effects. They have sound effects. Oh my god. So, if you have a fear of pigeons like I do, uh, I don't have a fear of them, they just give me the heebie-jeebies. This is a... This is like a live action... I, I feel like they're going to jump out at me. <laughs> I'm getting heebie-jeebies with these parrots. Parrots? Pigeons? See, I can't even... I don't even know what they're called. Look, there's one there. I feel like they're designed to come out of you. The dark, cave-like interior of the Duca recreates the natural habitat of pigeons so that they feel at home but those windowless walls have another purpose to limit the access to the building and protect the pigeons from their many predators to prevent large birds of prey like peregrine falcons sparrow hawks or owls but also crows and gulls flying in the number of openings was kept to a minimum a hole at the top for ventilation which was often protected by a grill or louvre and pigeon holes just big enough for the pigeons to freely fly in and out. There we go. Protect the pigeons. Oh aye. When you come outside there's more information. It tells you all about the actual building of it. The Ducat, which was built of local red sandstone in about 1550, is almost 7 metres high with an internal diameter of about 3.5 metres. It was used to house pigeons until the middle of the 19th century when it was no longer needed and was abandoned for over a century. That's because pigeons moved into mansions. People don't talk about that. 
and there we go. Lots of information on this, it's even got a timeline. This is great. Oh, this is a good one. Why do we no longer use ducats? Because pigeons are in mansions. No. In 1617, King James VI restricted the construction of ducats to significant landowners and religious houses, as the rising number of pigeons destroying the crops became a problem. However, Fife still had 320 ducats in 1795. By the end of the 18th century, farming habits changed and ducats were no longer seen as a mark of prestige for the upper class. Food fashions also changed. Pigeons were no longer in favour. People still have ducats today for fancy or racing pigeons. What's a fancy pigeon? That's a pigeon in a mansion, that's what that is. There's some sheep just chilling in a beautiful little field, having the time of their life. You can go up Kirkwind or you can go along Nethergate North where the sun will blind you. Right, so I'm looking around, I can't really see much because I am blinded by the ferociousness of the sun. Um, but that aside, I really am enjoying my walk here. This place is, this place is beautiful. There's the Brazilian house of Creu. There's the Creu branch of the British Legion. There's the Marine Hotel, 1903. Um, I've not been along to the harbour yet. I think this is my first time actually going along Crail Harbour. I see some signs. I'm quite looking forward to this. Because so far everything is just... Ah, it's a magnifique. The King's Mill Crail. This board marks the site of the King's Mills, an important landmark in both the life and the economy of the borough of Crail for at least the last 700 years. Nothing survives above ground today to indicate the position of the mills, but archaeological excavations at the site have unearthed fresh evidence regarding their history. Wow, look at this. Castle, remains of King's Mills. There's lots of information here on the King's Mills. Is that the boundary walls of a castle that I'm looking at here? It's almost having a wee smoky fire down there, it smells lovely. Let's just go for a wee wander down here. Is this the excavation ground? Or am I just being silly? I don't know. It's a perfectly formed castle wall though. Imagine that was your wee house up there, that wee bit. I'd take it. Hey well, turns out you can't get down that way. That would be a big fall. And an end to the Ginger Man episodes. Right, here we go. So, I just bumped into some nice people who told me that is the Isle of May out there. The 17th century sundial served sailors, fishermen and townspeople for well over 200 years. This experience, it's all happening as you walk around. The history is there for you to interact with, touch, to see, to feel. Amazing, I'm having the time of my life here. I like Castle Walk a lot. Look at this place. It's the tea room. Look at this. The Crail Harbour and tea room. Cuckoo's popcorn and tubs of Mackey's real dairy ice cream. Look at the wee benches. I love how similar all these fishing villages are with their harbours, St. Monin's, Anstruther, Penweem, and of course, Crail. Um, 
they're so similar but yet distinctly different and have their own unique aspects. And this is phenomenal. Look at this one, it's a little hidden beach. Didn't know it existed. Come on, oh my god. How did I not know about this? This is just stunning. It's like a little secret, beautiful private beach. Wow. Unbelievable. I feel like I've got to get to get to the skies from down here. This is insane. Look at this stick formation. What an interesting stick formation. Is it aliens or is it citizens of Krail? This is a beautiful spot. <laughs> Interesting looking stick circle. Closer look at this harbour. Look at that sun starting to set already. Uh -huh. See, this is how we access the bit I was at earlier. Well, I was up on that cliff edge. Oh man, this place is class. Creel is an absolute gem. Oh, and it's got that traditional eggy fishy smell to it. You can't beat it. There we go. It's all about them views. There's that beach. Oh man, what a place. The Eastern Pier, hooking round to the south, is known to have been substantially complete by 1583. That's how old this harbour is. In 1610, it is described as a new found it, newly built. However, in 1707, it is called Old and Ruinous, 
requiring rebuilding. The West Pier was rebuilt in 1828 by Robert Stevenson. This work incorporated the crane on the southwest corner, which lifts timbers into slots to seal the inner harbour. The structure of the inner walls of the harbour features a highly unusual vertical coursing of the stones. There you go. So some harbour knowledge for you. And also, although it was a harbour, it also gives you a nice place to come and sit and look over the water. Over to the Isle of May. There we go. The harbour. The Crail Harbour. A beauty, so she is. She ain't old and ruinous. She's historic and curious. <laughs> Pottery. Yeah, it's about three o'clock in the afternoon and it's actually getting quite busy. So I'm heading into the main bit of this camp. It's an unusual colour. Hello. It's the ginger man. Hello. Oh, she's a beautiful pussy. One of my favourite parts about filming is interacting with animals when I'm out and about. They're great. Especially when they're cute like that. I'm heading up this way, head through the town centre, have a look around and we'll be on our merry way because the sun is setting soon. That is the downside of this time of year. Let's put in some cool buildings. And I feel like this is the heart of them in this street. Creole Museum and Heritage Centre. There we go. I once kent a man who had been to Creole, the ginger man. Look to the rocks of the coast, washed by the sea and making pools with the tide. Trail, rock fort. Stop in the churchyard by the Dale's blue stain, thrown by old Nick from his Isle of May. The devil stone, eh? View with the eyes of the camera and palette. The harbour, the rocks and the sea to the sky. Bask with the seals in the rocks. I never see seals. Hear the sounds of the air station? Didn't hear the sounds of the air station. But mostly it's all good. A once skinny man who'd been to Grail. Wow, now this is what we're talking about. When I come places and I say I don't like going on the internet, I just like the place to tell me. This is what I'm talking about, places. Take a, take a leaf out of Crail's book. Look at the size of this. The community of Crail developed around the harbour in its 12th century castle. It is the oldest of the East Newt boroughs. So, it's taken it, it's taken the status, it's the oldest. And you don't have to walk around long here to realise it. There is history here. The castle where Crail House now stands was built by David I as the seat of the Royal Sheriff of Fife. The Sheriff of Fife? What a, what a title to have. It fell into ruins in the 16th century but it is remembered in Castle Street and Castle Walk by the 1160s. Crail belonged to Countess Ada de Warrene, mother of Malcolm IV and William I. And there's lots to read here. And there's a nice bit about the harbour too. From Crail's Harbour, farm produce and of course the Crail Capon were exported to Europe. The West Pier, designed by Robert Stevenson, which we read about earlier, um, grandfather of the author Robert Lewis, St Lewis that again? grandfather of the author Robert Lewis Stevenson, was added in 1826-28. In the 18th and 19th century, Crail was a major port for whitefish and herring, but today Crail boats bring in shellfish. As you walk by the harbour, look out for the 17th century custom house from where the excisemen kept an eye out for smugglers, whatever that word means. Excisemen. This is a great board and look at the picture as well. It tells us where we are. We're at the toll booth. Well, I do say that is a mighty fine toll booth you got there, Crail. You just feel it walking around. You feel the history all around you. Everything just feels like it's in a, the right place. It's Dan's good services next to the Golf Hotel. There's the pharmacy. Old fashioned as you'd expect from this town. And look at the setting sun. There's 
blindingly stunning. It's only the beehive. Look at this beautiful tree. Right, that takes us back to the way we came, back down to the harbour. So watch along here a little bit, see what there's to see. The thing with these East Nook towns, villages, there's so many nooks and crannies to explore, you really can spend the whole day here. And I'm just uh, taking advantage of the last light here that is stunning, it's turned out to be a beautiful day today. And if there's something I've learned, it's about choosing your times to come out and film. Look at this, Krell Beach Yoga. Do you live in Krell? Do you do yoga? Is it good? I think I'd do it. If the conditions were right. Looks fun. And that beach is stunning. Nice place to do it. I'm not sure what that thing is. It's got like a, I don't know what's on top of it, something. And it's got a grip box at the bottom. It's the community wheelbarrow. There's another one of those things. And whilst I'm here, there's the harbour. It's just like a disused area. There's a overgrown bench. And this white thing, what is it? It was a place of many benches with many lookout points. Thanks for watching this far into the video. And if you've made it this far, um, it would be nice if you could hit the subscribe button if you're on YouTube or the follow button if you're on Facebook. Try and get those numbers up before 2022 starts. Also, if you really like Ginger Man, you can also follow the links below, join my Patreon where I'll give you exclusive content, or also, you can, if you don't want to sign up to something, you can just tip me on PayPal and buy me a coffee, that'd be lovely, and become part of the adventure and journey, and I'll give you a shout out in the episode whilst I'm at it. So I let's get back to Crane. You know, just walking around, you get the sense that this was a very important and busy place. So the buildings are quite tightly crammed together. And you could imagine it being much heavier populated when the harbour was hustling and bustling. I really do wish we had the ability to sort of go back in time, not to interact with the past, but just to observe. Just to stand and be amongst it, to feel it, absorb it. Just be part of it. <laughs> Got fish, fruit and veg. Oh good stuff. It's got that just about to turn dark feeling about it. Everything's just gone clear. Calm. Well there's a fountain in amongst all the parked cars. I can also smell all the chippies. It's, uh, don't drink it. Erected in the Diamond Jubilee year of Her Most Gracious Majesty Queen Victoria, 1890, guess the last number, seven? This street with the trees on either side is quite nice in the autumn. I mean, this would be a truly stunning place to be living. There is now an intense smell of fish and chips in the air, making the ginger man extremely hungry. That oh, smells amazing. I think it's coming from the golf hotel. Because they've got an outside garden and restaurant. Oh, wow. It's making me want fish and chips for tea. 
I can't quite describe the feeling I get when I walk around at this time of year, but it really is my favourite time of the year. Everyone knows, uh, usually the morning, morning time, early morning is my favourite time. It's quiet, there's nobody about, and it's just a feeling that I like in the morning. And it's there every year, the morning's always there. But the autumn, this time of year, and the, the, the evening with the leaves, the setting sun early in the day, it creates a special, special feeling. And wow. What a time to be in Creole. Feels like Christmas. Feels like a Christmas winter they feel to it. Look at this place. Well, just when I thought I'd seen all Creole had to offer, I was up in the sky and I seen this beautiful church. So well done, Declan the drone. But as you can see, the light is fading fast. When I was up in the sky also, I seen the sun setting and it is spectacular. But I had to come here to finish off my episode because it looked so spectacular and beautiful from the sky and it has not failed. It really has a look at this. If you know the ginger man, you'll know I appreciate a good church. A bit of history. And this is lovely. It's like a tomb. A creepy little tomb. It's not often I stay this late in places. As I said earlier, I'm usually out early in the morning. But this becomes harder in the winter as your, your daylight becomes this compared to the all day you get in the summer. That's all good. Because it's all give and take with the seasons. Wow. And I feel like this is the more, the more modern part of the grave churchyard. Or at least more modern than the, the section I just walked through next to the church. Is this a woodland walk? Is this the Creole woodland walk? Why? Why? Oh man! <laughs> Didn't expect this. It's like a, a bonus level to Krell. It's Krell's bonus level. If you stay all day, you eventually come out of the, the secret, hidden, not so hidden, woodland walk. And it's just a short walk, but I think it's an absolute beauty. Oh man, I love this place. It just keeps getting better and better. It really does. This is just a special wee spot. You've got the water running through it, benches, and a wee walk that take you up to the church. I started the day on a bench, and I'm going to finish it on a bench in this beautiful, serene, stunning little woodland walk behind the church in Creil. I love this place. I cannot keep telling you how much I love this place. I mean, I tell you I love everywhere, but you know, Creil. There's something extremely special about this place and when you walk around it you feel the history and you really become absorbed in it. It's somewhere just to put your phone in your pocket and just walk around and really enjoy the day. And there's loads of local stuff around. You know, you've got the pottery, you've got the cafes, the shops, everything. Creole literally has a full day's package ready for you. So get you here and visit because the ginger man has given this place a total two thumbs up seal of approval. Absolutely fantastic. So Creel, thanks for having me. Peace! Today.